I guess hopefully this isn't too overbearing or too loud. I got new microphones for myself so you guys can hear me better. I had a couple people say that. Last video you couldn't hear me. But um, basically haven't really done a whole lot in the past couple weeks because of weather. It went from really nice outside to I can cut glass with a couple parts on my body. Um, but basically, all I'm really going to do is just work on getting the carpet out today. Maybe some more of the interior. Just trying to get you guys a video out. Um, the 6 liter, we have it pretty much down to the cab. So soon that should be pulled. Um, I got everything lined up. I got the suspension, the lift kit for it. I got a PMF long arm kit for it, four link. We have powder coater lined up for all the suspension and the frame. I got to use two separate people. Mm. And then I think after that, I mean, mainly right now I'm going to get get this cab off, set it on the frame, get my mounts all built, which I'm going to try to use the factory mounts, but then move them around, get those built. And then I think after that, we'll take the cab off, send it to go get media blasted. And then we will also send our frame to get, tear the rest of the frame down, go have it all sandblasted, primed. And then we're going to go through and fill all the holes that we don't need in the frame and try to make that as smooth and show quality as possible so yeah but i guess let me just fast forward through taking out this carpet probably be like 10 seconds for you guys and see what it looks like Well, it's definitely worse than I thought it was. I knew this. I knew this side was pretty crusty. Which I ordered a floor pan for this side. But, it's all the way up in here. Which, I'll take this out. Which, I might put stainless in here, so that'll be fine for something. But the other side, which I did not expect... I don't know if I just didn't look under here very good or what, but this side is a little rusty. Hopefully it doesn't go too far back because I guess you can see a little bit right there and carpet must have been keeping me from seeing it, but kind of sucks, but is what it is. We'll just have to do some replacing on that guy. So, I guess I'll just fast forward again and pull the rear seats out and then we'll do the carpet back there, I guess, and hopefully it's better than the front. I swear there's always one or two, you know, just stubborn, kind of like me, the black sheep.
this is for the guys that I work with and a couple people I watch. Gotcha. Uh, that should be it, hopefully. Yes, sir. Apparently, interior used to be red on this truck, too, which I've kind of seen some spots, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this trim yet. I might have something custom built out of aluminum or stainless or something. I'm not sure. Go back here. I don't like plastic, especially that's all cracked and that stuff's hard to come by. I don't know what these things are. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm not lying. I guess I should move my tools. Don't break now. Feel like I've ate, I don't know, 31 tails from a bunny, maybe. I don't know what they used, but it works. I can tell you that for glue. This is junk anyway. Get out of there. So far, it's not terrible, actually. Way better than the front. It's definitely crusty. I'm not gonna say it's not, but definitely salvageable. So far. Sorry if you can hear me breathing. I just want you guys to know I'm still alive. Okay. <sighs> Allergy season two. Man, that's been getting me. We went from like 80 something degrees one day down to like, I don't know, 40s, mid 30s the next, or two days later.
The only reason I drilled that is because um, it was already disconnected underneath and I won't be using it, so. Which I probably could just pull it through the floor, I guess. And also, for all you guys that followed on the trikes and stuff like that, I appreciate it. Um, we are working right now on getting more information, website, stuff like that, to sell these trikes. Uh, I don't know exact details yet, but that will come. So, I need to get a video of those as well. We got a couple others. My dad's building one right now for a customer. Um, actually, a snap-on guy. So, you know, 100 bucks a week for 52 weeks. Not really, but it's kind of funny. We had to joke with him about it. But hopefully we can get a couple of them together. Get some videos. Cause you guys seem to be very interested about that. I'm sure there'll be screws in my tires tomorrow. Okay. Get you guys in here in a second. Throw our peepers at it. See what we got. Okay, here we go. So obviously, I mean, it looks worse than it necessarily is. I guess here's some more view. That's part of the front floor pan on this driver's side. Which, like I said, I didn't see that, but it is what it is. Um, back here, I mean, it looks rough, but I would say some right here, but all the... Seam sealer is peeled, but I'm sure once this is media blasted and stuff, it probably won't be as bad. A lot of it's just kind of flaky and I did notice a couple, I guess that's from the screws. I mean right here is probably the worst spot. So like I said, you know, I'll see all this for good once it's media blasted. Cause I do not want this to be all rusted out, all said and done. Obviously we got a lot of work to do, but I'm still hoping to make our timeline, but We'll see what happens. I don't know if that's going to be reasonable or not. So, but I guess that's probably going to be it for this video. Um, it's getting kind of dark outside. But once again, I appreciate all you guys following and coming along and everything else for the ride. But I'll give you one last look. 
at the trikes. Thing is slick. And I do, I plan to get the red. I'm gonna either have it painted black or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but. but yeah, it's pretty fun. So, like I said, thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, all the support and everything else that you guys have done. So, hopefully, we can. Keep on boogieing along, and I'll get videos. So hopefully, some more video this weekend. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the motor and transmission pulled. I got a guy interested in buying that, and then hopefully, I'll be able to get the cab pulled or uh, unbolted, ready for pulling. Maybe pull it, um, and same for the bed. So, I'm sure, I'll have another video out to you guys. Hopefully, in the next week, week and a half or so. Thank you.